up guys, it's Gina. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Pokemon Showdown Lab. This is episode number 59, I think, on the channel, so that's pretty cool. And, um, also, shout out to Comex for the background music in this video. We're gonna be using the same Entei and SD Abomasnow team, which I've been having a lot of fun with on the ladder, I'm not gonna lie. Um, happy Thursday to everybody out in, uh, Thursdayverse. And if I do sound a little bit more quiet in this episode, it's because I am pretty tired. Um, I'm just taking a little break in the middle of homework. Because, um, I didn't really want to continue slaving away and doing all that for the hour. So, um, yeah, I'm here to record. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty excited. And I realized that my UU rating has decayed a lot in, um, since, like, I last recorded UU. I didn't come on my main for, like, a week. And that's probably where that came from. So hopefully we can get close to the top 500 this week. Um, we're at, like, 13... 79 or something which isn't amazingly high as we get a battle but while that loads we're just gonna go ahead and check the ladder and i think like 427 is the min yeah 427 is about the min so i'd be cool for if we reach that anyway he's using this hazard stacking offense team uh that by and large gets beat by uh me so um i think right here i'm just gonna go ahead and lead with entei because i can just sacred fire the galvantula if he chooses to thunder to get off damage then uh, he's not gonna get webs up i can also prevent him from getting off other farther damage and to be honest um he doesn't have a whole lot of switch ins to entei uh because Jordigon doesn't really appreciate a burn so he just ends up going for sticky web and i bring him down to his sash can i get the burn i do not get the burn which is a little bit unfortunate so uh I think I'm just going to stay in here and click Sacred Fire. Um, I don't want him HP icing or anything. As he ends up revealing Toxic, which is fine. I have a Heal Bell Vaporeon, so I can uh, remedy that issue if... I, I can remedy that if that does become an issue. Um, if you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Anyway, um, so I think he's going to go either into his Dredagon, uh, Machamp, or uh, Magmortar right here. If he goes out into Machamp, I think my switch is going to be Gligar. Uh, but he goes out into in Magmortar, meaning I'm just going to go out into my Vaporeon right here. Um, Heal Bell, and then switch back out into Entei to start spamming Sacred Fires, because that'll be nice. Because I think I'll just go out in Trevenant if I go out in Almamola. I don't see a whole lot of reason, or not Almamola, Vaporeon. I don't see a whole lot of reason for him to stay in if... Like, I, I really don't see a whole lot of reason for him to stay in in this scenario just because he doesn't want to oh never mind he has thunderbolt that nice <laughs> off to a great start <laughs> so i'm just gonna go for the heal bell right here because it's too easy as long as they don't get paired then it would not be too easy um if i am able to get this heal bell off right here this helps me significantly because then i can just sack almola not out that's the second time i've done that <laughs> this there we go i get the heal bell off uh, I can go ahead and throw a wish in the air as he'll more than likely just go for deep punch um, So as long as I get that off Get this off rather that's uh, pretty neat And uh, the only things I need to eliminate on his team in order for SD bombs to win are I need to get rid of Magmortar. Okay, that is a banded dynamic punch. I am fairly certain of that Because um, that shouldn't have just killed and it just killed so uh, right here. I'm just gonna go for the defog um because, frankly, I'm panic. I'm, I'm in panic mode right now. <laughs> um, so he just ends up going out into Dredagon, so that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and U-turn right here on what I believe to be his stealth rocks. Uh, that would make sense if this had rocks. And this is actually a huge threat under uh, webs. So, um, rough skin Rocky Helmet. So he is indeed uh, rocks, and that is my friend G-chatting you. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Probably just leave it act like I didn't hear it. Sorry, friend. Um, and I'm just going to go out into Jirachi right here because I think his play is to go for something like Ice Punch, except for the fact that that noise is still in the background. So if that does end up showing up, I apologize. But he just ends up going for the Dragon Claw, which is fine. Um, I know he's going to Fire Punch right here, so I'm going to go straight out into my High Dragon because I can freely drop a Draco on pretty much whatever he has. Uh, or he EQs, which is nice too, because then Mr. Fangs just comes in and gets a kill. Also, shout out to uh, my, my friend Brandon, um, aka Braylon Lover Forever. Uh, he's an old Poke Battle friend of mine, and uh, he helped me uh, revise his team a little bit. Helped me move around things like some EVs on Mr. Fangs and cool stuff like that. I'm clicking Dark Pulse. It's not a problem. And, um, so huge shout out to him for doing that. 
Okay, I crit him. That's unfortunate. I don't care. <laughs> um, frankly, the uh, even though the para didn't matter, I'm just going to go ahead and say it cancels out the para. And uh, we're going to roll that, so we'll see what he does here. He'll probably, like, I don't see a way he can win the game. He goes out to Machamp, though. And uh, I'm just going to go out and Gligar, because I really don't need Gligar anymore. Um, because this game is going to come down to uh, anti-spamming Sacred Fire. And if I get a burn on Machamp, that's really, really helpful. If I don't, I don't. Uh, so he goes for the Mega Kick. <sighs> anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and give my rocks up, as that is a Choice Banded Mega Kick. That's embarrassing. Um, I'm going to go for the Roost. I almost clicked Defog right there. That would have been pretty funny. Um... Because, you know, if he is going to let me get back up to full health, then why stop him? Um, actually, that's a normal type move. I go into Rachi, get a sub. Jirachi? Jirachi? Actually, I don't get a free sub, which is unfortunate. But I can just Iron Head him right here. And Actually, I'll probably sub up because I don't think he wants me to stay in right here and like get off a Wish or something. As he does end up going out of Magmortar, which is very helpful for me. Because now I just get this Toxic off right here, and I can start spamming Iron Head if that's what I want to do, uh, which is a pretty viable option. And I can also uh, begin the destruction of High Dragon, as he actually outspeeds me, so that's cool. But he gets uh, that Toxic damage off right there. And uh, I'm probably just going to go out into my High Dragon, uh, because High Dragon can blow his team back right here. It clicks Draco and gets a kill. Uh, what is which is the goal? He goes out into Machamp, and I'm fairly certain this isn't Scarf, considering it did 75% to a mixed defense of Vaporeon. And uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click Draco as long as I hit. Then things are looking good. Uh, go ahead and act like that crit mattered. You're not AV. Get out of here. Um, he just forfeits, and by the looks of it, we're only. Uh, seven minutes in, so we're gonna go ahead and grab another one. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it when I get that other one. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, uh, what's up, guys? I'm back, and, uh, this looks like cool hyper offense. Um, Feet Suicune, which is probably, like, CM Tailwind, which is, you know, a neat set. Um, I think Obama Snow may be able to put in some work, because after an SD, if I can just, like, generally weaken his team, it'll clean. So, uh, I'm assuming he's gonna lead with this. So, I'ma just lead with Jirachi, and uh, we'll see if he has the Fire Blast. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, as he does leave with the Azelf, so it's not a problem. I'm just going to, uh, sub up right here, because I think he has to go for rocks. And, uh, then I can just Iron Head him, and hopefully dodge an Explosion, which will be nice. Hopefully that's his only attacking move. Hopefully he doesn't reveal, like, the Fire Blast right here. That would be pretty unfortunate, as he taunts turn. This man's a lord. He's, like, an absolute lord. On a scale of 1 to Lord, he's low. <laughs> like, I just honestly didn't expect him to make that play this early in the game. Because I feel like if I had been Scarf and I had flinched him right there, then he was put in a really unfortunate situation. Um, but seeing as I have, like, zero attack investment, that did nothing. Um, anyway, I'm just going to click Iron Head again. Uh, I do have an opportunity to defog versus his Mega B drill as he reveals the Flamethrower. That's it. Nice. Um, so we're already off to a great start. <laughs> I suppose that's kind of karma for the crit last game versus Trevenant. But, you know, uh, that kind of stuff has a way of working. It's way back around um, as he goes for the taunt again as I just Iron Head, which is fine. Uh, I'm just basically sacking Jirachi here, uh, despite the fact... Actually, it's not really useful for anything on his team. Uh, besides the fact that it can take an HJK, but um, so he's gonna go for the explosion right there, and we're gonna double down. No, we're not gonna double down. So that's actually really helpful for me because I get to see what he goes out into. If he goes out into B drill, uh, that's amazing. Oh, wow, my computer almost froze right there. That's weird. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head though, and uh, if he misses high jump kick, I would laugh. I would laugh. He just goes for the fake out. It's too easy. Uh, I can just go into Gligar right here and click Defog because Gligar is cool like that. And uh, losing my ability to reliably check Beedrill is also fun when he goes for the knockoff right here. Um, but, like, I would rather just get these rocks off the field and be able to pivot around a lot easier. Um, as he just goes into Suicune. Easy. Um, so I'm just going to go into Alma Mola right here. Actually, I'm, I'm going to go into Obama Snow. i got to make the aggressive play right here. Um, as he goes, don't burn. Uh, 
you know, things just like sometimes things have a way of uh, working against you, and that's actually a nice euphemism for stuff that's going on right now. Sometimes things have a way of uh, you know uh, working against you, and you've just got to be able to turn that positive into a negative. And uh, the positive for me right here is that I get to go out into my uh, Vaporeon, force a switch, and uh, he doesn't have a whole lot that can reliably take on Vaporeon, uh, bar maybe Mianxiao, because Mianxiao uh, gets... Uh, actually, no, bar probably Beedrill. Beedrill is his best switch, but that's why Vaporeon Gligar can be a cool core for me. So he goes into Jirachi, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to go straight away for the Heal Bell. Uh, if he does go for the Toxic, that's fine. I'm kind of expecting him to be sub-Toxic Rachi. Um, he could also be Scarf Healing Wish Rachi, which would be pretty annoying, but... Um, it's not really, okay, easy. Ugh. Like, actually everything bad is happen happening right now. So, uh, he goes for the Zen Headbutt. That's why I have trust issues. Uh, I'm gonna go into Entei right here, as he probably just Zen Headbutts. Easy. That did a lot. Uh, but I can just click Sacred Fire. Actually, if I really want to, I can double the Vaporeon, which I'm gonna do right here. Um which ends up paying off for me because I can just uh, heal bell right here hopefully get this off and be able to get a bomb of snow up to a reasonable amount of HP uh, to where high dragon can just come in and wreak havoc versus a lot of his team um, because offense generally has very few switch ins to high dragon as long as I don't get full parrot here um, nice play mate thank you nice people on showdown um, so, I'd imagine he's just going to double out Narachi. Um, because I really didn't show anything. That punishes Rachi last time. Uh, because I didn't really have anything. Um, so he goes out to Narachi as I heal Bell successfully. And, uh, now I can go out into Gligar, predicting the T-Wave. Uh, because I think that's what he's going to go for. And then I can also get up my rocks, because he has no way to remove them. Uh, which will kind of allow me to play more aggressively. Uh, versus his entire team, which... Is very nice against offense because getting a nice 25% versus B drill and even like a 12% versus Suicune can be helpful in the long run. Because uh, anything that. Uh, <laughs> I know it's not Poison Diamond, I keep thinking it is. Don't worry, buddy. I had a, I, I had a part in my life where I thought Glagger and stuff like that was a poison. There's one. I just want my rocks, bud. Like, please, don't do this to me. Don't do this. Uh, Zen Headbutt, don't do this. Nice. Okay, so as long as I don't get flinched five, four times in a row by Zen Headbutt, I should be okay. And I can just get my rocks up, and I'm assuming he's going to switch right here into something like Nidoking. King. But that's fine, because I do have Vaporeon and take it on, and uh, I've, I guess this is a cool time to talk about balance. I've been getting into balance recently uh, as like a play style, uh, because I think... It will allow me to win a lot more games and just bad hyper offense, which, you know, uh, I've kind of, I guess, I know this isn't the right word. Why am I dropping frames? I'm playing Showdown. Jeez. Um, so I'm able to U-turn out of there, which is beautiful. And I can go out to Mr. Fangs, and I highly doubt he's max speed. Like, I really highly doubt he is max speed right here. Uh, if he is, then, you know, that's a little bit unfortunate, but I don't think that's the case, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fire off a Dark Pulse. If he has max speed, I have Heal Bell support chill it. Um, but this will force a switch pretty much into me and Chow. I think that's really his only switch right here. It's still gonna take a lot from whatever move I decide to go for, um, which will be Dark Pulse, but I suppose it's better than nothing for him. And he just decides to sack Jirachi, which is fine by me. Um, getting that thing out of the way makes it a lot easier for a Bomb of Snow late game. Uh, especially now that I have set up opportunities versus the Suicune if I can get it to rest, which shouldn't actually be too hard. Uh, we'll see, though. Um, I should name this thing Sork, except Mr. Fangs is just a great nickname. Um, anyway, Vaporeon will probably be my switch if he does go out into... Uh, the kick thingy, the fighting kick thingy, um, me and Xiao, and this is turning into a long episode, yeah, this is turning into quite a long episode, so, I uh, hope you guys don't mind that too much, and, you know, that's kind of a byproduct of playing balance, and that's, I guess, that's one reason why I maybe don't play as much balance, because it's harder to get, 
like multiple great games in, or it's harder to get just like one or two games in um especially when they turn into kind of long battles like this and this really isn't even that long this is long by hyper offense standards it's 22 turns um but i know i can check this uh nitto king as long as it's not t-bolt if it's t-bolt then run um actually why do i not just draco probably don't kill i'm clicking draco i'm a man um he'll probably ice beam so vaporeon could be a pretty safe switch in right here but they, th that would not be something that, like, that would be far too easy when I can just drop a Draco. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what he decides to go into right here. Um, it's kind of a weird play on his part. I don't see why he just didn't go into me and Chow. Um, I guess he doesn't want to miss whatever attack he goes for. I could take a high jump kick from there, but I'm not going to right now. It's not the time. Um, I'm going to go into Vaporeon right here and... Basically, as long as I weaken this thing, uh, it's going to become a lot easier for me. And uh, I think right here I'm just going to go for the protect uh, on the off chance that he goes for the high jump kick. I don't think he's going to do it, but if he does, it makes it a lot easier as he goes for the drain punch. So that's unfortunate. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to scald because if I can get a burn on this thing, it makes it like infinitely easier to deal with. Because I can then just like go out and Gligar and Roost pretty much for free. So that did 53%. Oh my god. Um, so this Scald's going to do 54%. I don't get the burn, which is a little unfortunate. But uh, he is now in E speed range, which is pretty cool. Not going to lie. I'm going to Scald again. Uh, so he just drain punches. And I really lost nothing by Scalding there. Um, as I can just now go out into Entei. And uh, click E speed if that's the thing that I want to do, uh, because then he'll be forced to go. Um, yeah, then he'll be forced to go into this, and I kind of just want to make the aggressive double now into Mr. Fangs, um, which I should have done, but it's okay, uh, as I do a solid 23% with that. Uh, so I'm gonna go into High Dragon, and I just get to drop another Draco right here. There's really no harm to it at all, um, as he goes for the skill. Don't burn me, crit burn. Thank you. Uh, so, after I drop this Draco right here and uh, blow something back on his team, like this should kill Suicune from 78%. It doesn't. That's lame. He scalded again and got the burn. That's also lame. Um, I'm clicking Draco right here. Uh, just because I don't really have any reason not to. High Dragon's gone after burn plus life orb, so I may as well get one last powerful hit off. And uh, then the game... This is why, like, people stop playing this game. Um, I'm going to go out into... Actually, I'm just going to Draco again. You know what? Don't get Calm Mind. Um, if I SD and dodge a Scald Burn for one turn, I think I win. Um, so you just Sleep Talks and Calm Mind. Cool. I'll take that. If you Calm Mind again, that'd be amazing. Uh, I'm going to Mega Evolve. Hit him with the SD. Uh, SD. <laughs> Uh, because I don't think I can kill him unless I SD, and as long as I do dodge a Scald Burn, it's good. Uh, if I don't dodge a Scald Burn, then you know that's a pretty haxy match, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, after getting the burn with that right there, um, there's like a para. It, wait, I got paraful parrot here. Got flinched. Like I, I understand like the Jirachi hacks more than just like the random paraful paras. Um, don't burn. Scald, he burned me, didn't he? Oh, nice. Okay, I just gotta dodge a burn one more time. Just one more time, that's all I ask. If I can do that, I win the game. Don't burn me. Nice! Okay, so now is the time for me to come through. Because I can now spam E-Speed with Entei, and I think pick up the win. Uh, we'll see, though. Because this will come in, It's it'll be at, like... 80 some percent it'll take rocks which is six um hail which is another six life orb which is 10 so that's 22 percent so that's wearing down on his regenerator and he may actually be in a ice shard range from there so i'm just gonna click ice shard right here uh, i really have no reason not to uh it's probably gonna kill this beedrill because beedrill is pretty frail and uh, getting rid of this will be nice <laughs> so there it is mega obama snow finally putting in the work that it's supposed to capitalize on the water types that would otherwise be a problem for my team. Uh, I doubt this fake out kills. Mega Obama's nose pretty bulky. 
and uh, then just kind of run, wreak havoc on things if it can get up an SD and not get skull burned. So, um, wow, that actually killed. Uh, so, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of Pokemon Showdown Live, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Um, let me think about this for a second. I don't really know what the common question is. Oh, uh, first LBA battle should go live either tonight or Friday. Uh, so are you guys hyped for that? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.